Oh, we've got some great buys here. Hit up the Salvation Army at lunch today, and well, I got a stack of stuff here. A stack of stuff. So let's start with some of these books. First up, I picked up the manga Blood the Last Vampire 2002. Um, I've never, you know what, I don't know that I've read any manga before, but I figured, you know what, for the price, all good. All good. And then I got a whack of R.L. Stein stuff here. So let's go through them. We've got Goosebumps Legend of the Lost Legend. Goosebumps Say Cheese and Die with the uh, cover that's all embossed and stuff. Then Goosebumps Vampire Breath. We got Goosebumps Why I'm Afraid of Bees. And then we got Goosebumps Horror Land. Who's Your Mummy? Another Goosebumps Horror Land. Monster Blood for Breakfast. Uh, Goosebumps One Day at Horror Land. This one's another embossed cover. Actually, so is the. Are all the horror. All the Horror Land ones are embossed. I didn't notice that. Um, this is a Goosebumps Piano Lessons Can Be Murder, and the Goosebumps logo is embossed as well. And this is something I hadn't seen before. This is Goosebumps Presents TV Book Number 13, Ghost Beach. Um, so I'm guessing it has something to do with the TV series. But, uh, yeah, there you go. It's a small little little thing. It's like I don't know, half, half the size. Another Goosebumps, The Ghost Next Door classic. Um, oh, looks like I picked up uh, another copy of, oops, <laughs> Vampire Breath. So I got two of those. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, Goosebumps, The Headless Ghost. Goosebumps, The Beast from the East. And Goosebumps Horrorland here, Revenge of the Living Dummy. Another Horrorland title, Dr. Maniac vs. Robbie Schwartz. And finally, we got Goosebumps Monster Blood. Did I have another Monster Blood? Oh, Monster Blood for Breakfast. Ooh, so I guess one's a sequel. Then I also picked up some movies. Picked up some movies. Um, Blood of Beasts. This was an old rental copy. Picked up Basketball Diaries. You know what? I've only ever watched this once. Um, so I figured for the price, why not grab it? I've, I Honestly, I don't know that I've ever seen this DVD or anything like that. So... Yeah, it's from Palm Pictures. Oh. And then a cheapy uh, release of Nosferatu, the first vampire. Um, this is from... Who is this from? Front Row Entertainment. Um, so I figured, you know what, I'll pick this up. I'll get the Blu-ray anyways. I think I have a DVD copy of that from Kino, but it doesn't work. It never has. Um, so I will upgrade to the Kino Blu-ray eventually, but I figured I'd get that added to my collection. But the greatest buys of all come in the form of Warhammer 40k. Um, this is the, I don't know which edition this is, 4th edition or 5th edition? I think I may already have this book, but this book goes for like 60 bucks. So getting it for four, why not? And the first thing I saw was 
Codex Tau. So this goes with that particular version. Um, but I don't know that I have any Tau Codexes. I, I, I could be wrong. I could have picked one up used before. Um, but uh, yeah. Awesome. Again, this... Well, this is a. I don't even think they put prices on their books anymore. Um, I think this goes for like thirty bucks. These are the hardcover ones, right? Like, no cheapy soft covers anymore. So, yeah, um, <laughs> an awesome bunch of awesome. Great buys, great buys, great buys all over, all over the place today. Um, I was quite, quite surprised at what I found. I guess that's what happens when you don't go there for a little while. <laughs> of course, I did leave behind a good maybe 10 Goosebumps books um, that just the condition wasn't up to snuff. Um, these ones are in pretty good condition. They're not mint, but they're pretty close to it considering it's a kid's book. But then, uh, yeah, I mean... This this is this is this is the money. This is the money right here. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of any of the uh, things I picked up. Uh, love to hear from you. Comment down below. You know what to do. Till next video. Take care. Have a good one.